One, finger, two, fingers, three, fingers, four, five fingers can remind you how to protect your eye. Five fingers make a hand, a hand that says stop. Remember the five points of how to protect your bike. This is Dave. He's stopping by the grocery store on his brand new bike. The first really important thing he's ever owned. Hey Dave, hold it. Aren't you forgetting something? How about the chain and lock? Is your bike safe out there like that? Let's do it again. That's it. That's it, Dave. But little does Dave know that sitting at that very corner is Creepo the thief, the worst bike thief in 50 states. Creepo has a hunger for bikes, and he's smart. Will he get Dave's bike? Let's see. What's this? Locked! Yeah, Creepo thought he had that one, but it was locked to the bike rack. Curses! Foiled! But maybe some sucker will come along and leave his bike without locking it. Here's Goofer. He's always in a rush. He doesn't have time to worry about the little things like locking his bike. <laughs> hey, Creepo, maybe Goofer is the sucker you've been waiting for. Looks like his bike is just asking to be taken. <laughs> Here comes Goofer. Surprise, Goofer. Your bike is gone. Oh, my bike is gone. Lock your bike, or it can disappear in a flash, as Goofer found out. This is Kathy. She needs a good place to park her bike. The alley is too dark and quiet. Even though there's no bike rack where she's going, at least she can lock it where she can keep an eye on it, from inside, where there are people going by who would see anyone fooling around with a locked bike. It's a good thing she did, because little did she know that Creepo the Thief was at that very place and looking things over. Here's Dilly. She doesn't dally up the alley. That's fine with her. Does she lock her bike? Sure, she locks her bike. Little does she know that Creepo just loves quiet places like alleys. And it's easy to just pick up Dilly's bike, lock, chain and all, and put it into his handy little van. <laughs> Surprise, Dilly! <laughs> Point two. Lock your bike in as safe a place as you can find. Dilly didn't. There's a right chain and a wrong chain for any job. Like a dog chain. That's the right chain for Dave's dog, but it's not the one he's using on his bike. For that job, he got the best chain and lock he could find. His dad told him not to try to save a few dollars on a chain and lock and wind up losing his bike. But little does Dave know that through a clever hole in the newspaper, Creepo has observed the whole scene. And he brought his bolt cutter this time. It should do the trick, unless, unless Dave's chain and lock are tough enough. Has a 
another cutter up his sleeve. Well, not exactly up his sleeve, but anyway, it looks like this would cut through anything. Nope, Dave had the right chain and lock. Creepo will just have to wait for some sucker. Maybe this is the sucker Creepo is waiting for. Look at that flimsy chain and padlock. The same one he uses for his dog. Well, that was sure easy. And Creepo was so happy to get the bike that he forgot his cutters. Surprise, Goofer! Too bad. He didn't go point three to use a good chain and lock. A smart person always remembers to lock your bike in a wise location with the best chain and lock you can get. Kathy sure takes good care of her bike. She locks it to something good and solid, like the post on her front porch. Notice how she carefully puts the chain through the front wheel, then around the post, and through the rear wheel and the triangle of the bike frame. A tree is also a good thing for locking a bike, and if one chain isn't long enough, you can use two locks and two chains end to end. Or, if you have one chain, you can loop and lock around the front wheel and frame. And around the back wheel and frame. One in the front and one in the back. Well, here's Billy. She's dizzy and in a tizzy. She doesn't bother to chain through the frame. She just chains the front wheel. Little does Dilly know that Creepo just happens to be in the neighborhood. Will he get Kathy's bike? No way. How about that other bike? Creepo has special tools for a job like this. Creepo has his handy wrench, unscrews two nuts, and there goes her frame and back wheel. All Creepo has to do is get a front wheel somewhere, and he's got himself another bike. No surprise for Kathy, she took care of point four. She chained her bike properly. But Creepo is really smart, and just in case something goes wrong, there's one thing else to do. Most bikes have a serial number stamped into the bike frame. This number would be given to the local police department for registration in their files, and at least one copy kept at home in a safe place. If your bike has no serial number, or even if it has one, it's possible to put a personal, secret type of identification mark on parts of the bike. You can get an electric needle or metal marking pen in most hobby shops. In some towns, a bike is supposed to have a license plate. All these things are so that the police can help you get your bike back. Jeff and Tom had seen this fellow around a few times before their bikes were missing. So they told their friend the policeman when they saw Creepo up the alley with his van. Jeff says that's his bike and the registration number is on the frame. Just to prove it, he shows his copy of the serial number burned into the tag on his keychain. But the policeman can't find it. It's been filed off. But Jeff says, look there for my secret mark. Aha! It's there, all right. Now the policeman wants to see the bike that's in the van. Tom says, he carries a copy of his license number in his wallet. See how it matches to the license number on the bike? Creepo just remembered he had something to do somewhere else.
took care of the fifth point. They had all the registered evidence that they were their bikes. Creepo lost the game. Maybe some new invention will be out soon that'll take care of any bicycle thief. Some kind of secret alarm. But for right now, stop. Protect your bike. Remember and practice the five good habits of keeping your bike. Lock your bike in a wise location with a good chain and lock chained around something strong and through both wheels and frame and registered in every way you can Five stickers can remind you how to protect your bike your bike 